There's a concrete truck at the neighbor's house this morning. I was wondering what all the noise was. I have bought a baby gate for this spot right here and I can't, couldn't figure out last night how to install it. So this was my solution on this side to keep the dog off the porch. Cause said doggo has been standing in front of our bedroom door barking all night and keeping us up. Instead of coming out into the yard and barking at things, this is the solution for now is to keep him off the deck so that we can all sleep as much as you can sleep. So, all right, good morning, friends. It's weaning day, gentlemen. It is. We're gonna wean all five of you. All boys. Yes, it's gonna be a loud day. Tiny girl gets to stay with her mom until she goes home next weekend, but everybody else gets weaned today. You do. You big boys, it's time. Your baby's about as big as you, Padme. He is. That is what we're gonna do today. I've gotta mow the grass. We're going to the baseball game tonight. Uh, the Arkansas Racebacks are playing in their regional here in Fayetteville, and so we have tickets tonight. We're gonna go to that. I think the game starts at eight, so I'm gonna try to do everything before we leave. Milk and all that, since I'll have six girls to milk. It's gonna be a lot of milk. And today we can actually keep all the milk because we're two weeks post worming for Twiz and Bunny. And I need to kind of check them again. We'd have to go, we need to go one more week before we would worm them again. So I just need to kind of check their color and see how that goes. Let's get everybody fed so that I can get everybody moved and then I can mow and weed eat this morning before it gets too hot. I did put my sunscreen on today. You guys be proud of me, I got my hat on. I'm gonna, it's still pretty cool, so my hope is to get this done so I can mow in long sleeves and pants so that I don't get sunburned. All right, girls, it's still pretty early, but are you crabby and ready for breakfast? We're ready, Mom. We're gonna leave them locked up until I come back and what I'm gonna do is run all of them into a stall and I'll have to carry them over uh, to the buck bin one by one, which won't be a lot of fun, but I don't really know a better way to do it. And probably what I'll try to do is just carry them out here and across. So just across the backyard here. That'll be the shortest distance for me. They're not heavy, but they'll squirm. We'll just toss them in with the boys, but we'll lock them all up in a kennel and then grab them and take them over. Milo's the only one that I kind of worry about because he's really big. Maybe hard for me to get a good grip on him. I also need to tattoo Tiny before next weekend. I haven't done that yet. And the pigs have been going in the barn and dumping all the water. So I'm gonna have to hang it up a little bit where they can't do that. And I make it like a huge, there's a huge wet spot in there right now because they dumped over both small buckets yesterday because they can't drink any of the water that's in the barn and you're too lazy to walk over here to your own water you are got to lose your privileges ready for breakfast you're gonna have some new little buddies we're gonna have to get some extra bowls have to get some extra bowls yeah as I don't think you guys will chair I don't think you will are you walking away with the bowl oh yeah. goats are 
are so ridiculous. <laughs> Dumped the bowl over. So I am gonna get in here and mow this today just to get these tall things down. I don't think either of the pastures really needs to be mowed again, but this definitely does. The boys are fine. It's really maintaining them in that little square. It probably, if we had to keep all the little boys in there long term, it would be a little bit different, but it does seem to be working out right now. Let's see if we can get these guys moved over and be sweating by the time this is done. I don't know where the dog is. Has not been allowed to be on the deck. He may be Superman. There's no like way he can get out or anything. Just Yes, I see his white furry butt under the deck. He just barks, which Pyrenees are supposed to do and you don't really, the coyotes have been really close. So I don't really want to like reprimand him for barking. And so the only way to do that is to get him pushed out and there for a while, he was way down in the pasture barking. But in the last month, he's not wanted to go out there. I don't really know why. So it's been kind of an issue to get him kind of where he's supposed to be. Okay, so let's see if we can get these boys pent up real quick. We've got all five of them in here. So I'm gonna carry them one by one over to the boy pen. I'm gonna try to set you guys down, maybe out here, so you can see how this goes. We'll see. too bad. Now we gotta let the mama goes out. The thing about weaning babies on site is everybody's gonna yell back and forth all day long. Now I don't really have to put the divider gate up because Tiny is the only one that can get out and she can't really do a lot of damage to these trees. Also makes my life a little bit easier. So let the mama goats out. What helps is during the day mama goat will be able to hang out with the boys if she wants to. And my guess is that probably Padme and Poppy will. Twiz won't. She won't care. So let's get them out so they can go see their boys. We'll see what she does. She's the only one that's talking to her baby. This is Padme. Milo, the giant baby, is hers. We fence weaned last year, worked out really well. A lot less screaming and crying. The only thing that we'll struggle with this time, what we can do, is that moms won't probably sleep out here. Hi. Hi. I'm a pig. You have to speak to Toonie, she finds it rude, if she doesn't at least get a scratch. Is that they won't, probably want to sleep in here with the pigs where last summer the weaning pen was inside the dough pen and so moms just slept next to the babies all night long. What is gonna happen is Rue's gonna get his head stuck in the fence a lot. So we may have to put the crown of shame on him because he's gonna try to reach through the fence to get to mom. As you can see, Twiz and Padme came over here. Now Poppy is my other one. Here she is. <laughs> yeah. First timer, you never know how your first timers are gonna react. This way everybody can see each other. There's not really any reason for them to scream. It'll be tonight that they will yell. The good thing about goats is that when it gets dark, a lot of the crying will stop because of just natural instinct to uh, guard themselves against predators, unlike calves that will bawl all night long. These guys probably won't, and we will think about if they're gonna bawl moving <clears throat> mamas over here at night until they kind of calm down just to save us from listening to babies cry all night long. 
they'll be gone in a week and it won't matter other than Rue and Charlie who still don't have homes. Yeah. So <clears throat> everyone moved around, so now I have to come over here and stare at each other. There's plenty to eat. Plenty to eat. It's so funny. We all gotta stand here. Goodness. Alright guys, well mom's gotta get to mowing. She's already sweat through. Yeah. I know. They spilled their breakfast, didn't they? Yeah. They spilled their breakfast. Yeah. You do that sometimes too. You big fat pig. All right, well this seems to be okay for now. I don't think that they can squeeze through the gate here. That's always also the concern. I think if waffles could squeeze, eh, they probably could if they really wanted to. So I think they'll be okay. I think this is what we'll watch for today and see how they do. They're all plenty big. Milo's a giant. But these guys are all, this is their week to be weaned. So they're all 10 weeks, where Milo is probably 14 weeks old. He's a bit big, but I do think they can reach water. We'll make sure that they are multiple food bowls for everybody to eat out of in the morning. Luke. Zelda, what do you think? That's funny, now they're all gonna go back over there. I don't know why. This is hysterical. Goats crack me up. Yep. All right, guys. Close for your head. It's not. Well, it's a little earlier than thought. Get around the girls up. So we'll milk everybody tonight just to get everybody on the same cycle, even though we've only done about, you know, a, like eight hour gap. The pigs have destroyed the barn. So um, this is their last day. You have, you come in here and you overturn all of water buckets and it's super annoying. Come on Buns, come on Buns. We'll start with Buns. We'll see who else we can get in. I'm gonna try to do this without getting super dirty and sweaty so I don't have to take another shower. We'll see how it goes. I have two jars. I couldn't decide if I needed one more, just another quart jar, which is probably all I'll need, but I went ahead and got another half gallon jar. The babies have been screaming all day. They had actually just settled down. All right, good, I got, I got at least three in here. Oh, there was a TV. Uh, not you, knucklehead. Okay, let's see who we can get in. See, water, now mud puddle, not happy.
not a ton of milk because we're pretty early today for our girls that we normally milk and because these girls have only been without their babies for about six hours. And because the babies are here, it makes it kind of an extra layer of complicated because they can hear them. So they don't want to give me a lot of milk, but I do think both Padme and Poppy are going to have a lot. Hard to tell with Liz. She's still feeding Tiny. And it's obvious she's still feeding Tiny. She had very little milk for a goat that has had three babies. <laughs> Definitely has a big udder still. Definitely gonna have to have another shower. Had to chase this one. So what I'm gonna do is close gates, except for the big gate into the pasture. That way I won't have to do anything but close them in when I get home. Cause it's probably gonna be midnight before we get back. All right, are you guys ready for milk? Ready for milk? Yeah, mom's got it all over. enjoy that. Everybody's gonna be a little whiny and they're gonna yell back and forth for a while but it'll be okay. It's just part of weaning. Tomorrow we've got to figure out a way for everybody to be together but the pigs not to be able to get in the barn because I'm tired of water being dumped every single day and the inside of my barn is soaking wet. Fighting pigs is no fun. But these guys will be fine for the rest of the day while we're gone. My only concern is that I have freed Rue from the fence three times today already mostly this morning, that he will continue to do that. Hopefully not. We did every, get everything mowed. I did mow this pasture again. It does seem to be helping it kind of grow back in. I need to lock them out of this pasture for a week or two and let it kind of fill in in the places where they've overeaten it. I've got to take all the nets down this week so that when the people come to hay, uh, they're out of the way because we're just going to let them cut everything that they can. And I'm going to have to go take a shower because I had to chase Patty. She really wants to be with Milo, and that's pretty typical of a first freshener, but I was really impressed with Poppy. Didn't kick, didn't mind me and milked, did so great. Daisy was that way. I never really stand trained Daisy. She was a total natural at being milked. I had to stand trained Nani and Pixie and Twizzy. And so I'm not unfamiliar with stand training, and Pixie was the only one that I had to tie her feet down out of all of those girls. When I sand train Nani, I never had to tie her legs up, but it does look like Padme is gonna be one that we're gonna have to tie her legs back until she gets comfortable. She is more of a fraidy cat, so like she gets startled really easily. New situations totally freak her out, and I think it's just personality where her mom is super laid back, but Pixie's kind of that way too. Super snuggly, very friendly goats, but like anything new totally just terrifies them. So stand training is new and different, makes it difficult, but I gotta get out of here. Our family's here to go to the game. All right, ladies. Mama will see you later. She will. All right, my little love bugs. Behave yourselves. Yeah, mom be home later. Okay.